in this video we are going to discussing about how to uninstall oracle software okay first what you have to do first you need to delete registry keys okay sir the most efficient way for uninstall of this particular oracle software this is the one only efficient way but this is the one only it is somewhat difficult to uninstall this particular oracle software right sir this is one of the way which is difficult but be careful while deleting registry keys because of you are going to deleting for this particular oracle software registry keys but for suppose assume instead of oracle components these registry keys related to oracle components by mistake any chance if you are going to deleting other software components then it will trouble to other software or sometimes windows os also it will corrupt right that's why you need to carefully handle while deleting this registry keys okay fine sir i'm just recommending you to backup your os first before going to deleting uh, this oracle software okay fine sir what you have to do first search like reg in your search uh you have if you are using windows and just search bar you need to search like this reg okay registry editor you can observe right alternatively you can visit like windows r there you can there you can search reg edit right and hit enter but you have to run as administrator right okay sir see i just search registry editor and click on run as administrator click on yes you can observe see we have classes root classes underscore root current underscore user local underscore machine user current config right see observe carefully what you have to do h key local machine right where it is this is one right the next path is what sir h key local machine after that one software you need to go to software expand it where it is software see this is the software right expand it and where you have to go after that one there is oracle components okay see this is the one oracle why i mention here star inside that one components we have number of see you can observe see you need to delete all this right you need to delete all this wherever oracle components you need to delete right this is what you need to observe right see first you need to go to h key local machine i'm come back here observe carefully sir h key local machine so i just selected then after software and i just expand see search for software this is the software okay sir then what you have to find out oracle related components right and i am going to expanding see where it is oracle this is the one oracle right ah uh, i am going to deleting enter this oracle folder observe select this one right button delete 
are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys yes click on yes be careful you have to delete oracle folder only right just observe carefully and delete it okay yes we just clicked on yes and it got deleted okay fine and come back again what you have to do see h key local machine okay h key local machine expand it again you need to go to system go to system okay once it is expanded you need to select what sir current control set where it is current control set this is one current control set expand it and what you have to do now services see services right after that one you need to search select any one of the folder here and uh, hit on your keyboard or at a time right you can observe you can observe see this is the one oracle see why i mention here oracle star whatever oracle related folders oracle related components will be there here you need to select right you need to select and delete it one by one you need to select sir see oracle job scheduler xc so select this one and delete yes i am just clicking on s yes. yes now observe oracle ora db2 select this one delete click on s yes. oracle service xc delete click on s yes. oracle vss writer xc select this one right button delete click on s yes. right so we just deleted these components fine sir okay superb now what you have to do in case say we are using hk local machine system current control set services oracle we deleted hk local machine uh, software oracle oracle related components we deleted i mean this path i am going to deleting right only oracle related components only i am going to deleting okay don't delete any software okay see in case if you have still doubt you can search it here hk current underscore user sometimes a very rare case it is available inside this uh, current user also okay software is there any oracle no right you need to search like this also okay superb sir so wherever oracle related components will be there you need to delete it simply okay 99 percent this is the path you need to delete registry keys okay sir somewhere some one percentage uh h key current underscore user somewhere it will be available sometimes okay you need to observe and carefully you have to delete okay sir fine then what do you have to do next go to add or remove programs and click on and you have to click on uninstall right so i am going to searching add or remove add or remove programs right and search here oracle just select it and click on uninstall uninstall click on yes see what you have to do see you have chosen to remove the oracle xc database from your system after removal oracle xc database including its database files and the listener will no longer be available for use 
Oke, okay, klik kanan yes. Oke. Okay. Gathering required information. Oke. Okay. So what happened? Time remaining 7 minutes it's taking, right? One minute only still. Also, you need to delete what sir? Root path, root path of Oracle software you need to delete. This is the root path. Actually, see generally C drive only people will install this software. Okay, some of the times some of the people D drive, E drive. It may be any drive. It's got deleted, right? See, add or remove. See, observe. Oracle software uninstall or not? Oracle search it. Oracle yes. There is no Oracle software now. Okay. Now what do you have to do? See. Uh, root path also we need to delete see this is the path which i install uh, in this pc previously i installed in the d drive that is up to you see i am going to c drive see this is the path observe c colon app okay uh, c drive app backward slash j product backward slash 21c okay see observe app j product 21c this is the root path see app is root path see i already mentioned app is root path of oracle in my scenario right this is the case you have to catch right wherever oracle root path is there right that path you should be delete shift delete i'm going to doing here shift delete click on yes only you have to select see it is going to asking like this right yes so before going to deleting this app folder right so you need to first restart right first you need to restart then only it will solve your problem okay this is the this is what you have to do this is third step actually okay this is the fourth one okay superb sir okay Superb, sir. So, what you have to do? So, first you need to uh, delete these registry keys. After that one, uh, add or remove programs. You have to go to in that section, add or remove program. So, you need to uninstall, right? And after that one, you need to restart your system. Okay? After that one, you need to delete this particular folder. Right, particular Oracle root path folder. Right, this is root path. Right, app is root path of this Oracle software folder. Right, so now what you have to do? You have to delete. Right, this folder. Once you restarted this system, right, you have to delete this folder. Right, this uh, Oracle root path. You have to delete. Okay, we'll see. Uh, first, I am going to restarting. Okay. I am going to uh, restarting.
ओके हाँ नव ऑब्जर्व I just restarted my PC. Okay, you can observe. This is the app root folder of Oracle software, right? So you need to delete this folder, right? App folder. Select this one, app folder. Shift to delete, right? Click on yes. Now it got deleted. See? Previously, uh, it was given some of the pop-up windows, right? It is some of the files already open, right? That's why we just restarted, right? Okay, fine, right? Now, what you have to do if you want really uh, install clean install this Oracle. A uh, particular software, right? You have to again reinstall this particular Oracle software, right? Either it may be any version, sir. Either it may be Enterprise Edition, XC version. You need to follow like this only, right? Clear? This is the process of Oracle uninstallation, right? These steps. So far we done, right? See, first you have to delete registry keys of particular Oracle software, and after that one you have to uninstall this uh, Oracle software, right? Uh, you need to visit like this add or remove programs, right? You need to go to uninstall section, okay? If it is you are going to using a Windows 7, 8, or 10, 11, it's up to you. At last, you need to visit this adder programs, adder remove programs. You need to uninstall. Okay. After that one, you need to restart your system. After that one, you need to delete this uh, root path of Oracle software. Complete, sir. Complete. You have to delete. Right. In my case, it is C drive. Suppose I install. Uh, in other PC that is in the D drive or it may be E drive it's up to where it is install that previous one candidate history right you need to search where it is been installed whether it is C drive whether it is D drive or E drive it is up to his previous candidate interest where it is been installed right this is what you need to find out Right? Generally, in the most of the case, it is installed in C drive only. Okay? Super bright. You need to follow these steps. Right? I already created how to install this Oracle software. Please go through that video. Okay? Fine, right? No need to again and again install this Oracle software. No need to again and again Frequently, you should not do like this uninstallation of process. Are you going to practice in Oracle DB? Are you going to uh, practice in Java uh, perspective? Are you going to uh, like IT, IT administrator? You are going to doing no right system administrator. You are going to doing no right. You are going to just practice in perspective you are going to installing right don't practice like this installation of oracle software or installation of oracle software okay fine right i will tell you if you are forgetting this oracle username or password i will tell you how to recover that particular uh, password right i will tell you in the upcoming days okay Keep watching Java Concepts by J Tutorial YouTube channel. This is Jay signing off. Bye bye.